Hello from CreeNature.com, this is Mark Josty. Today is another Prinkling test with the AirArm FTP900. <laughs> this is one of the most amazing target gun you can feel, target gun you can find. Uh, and it's really precise, really accurate, really dead on. But today, we're not shooting field targets, we're shooting Prinkling uh, garbage. <laughs> So this is a single shot loading gun, you can see my review on that. And let's get going on some accuracy, accurate shooting. So we're loading some um, of these R10 match great pellets into the gun. Okay, so the first thing I want to do right now is uh, take a good shot at, let me see where I want to shoot, okay. Today I want to start by shooting the cap, no, the, the lid um, of the left, left pop can. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, I need some light here, okay? It, it's kind of dark. Okay, there we go. We actually did it. Okay, I need to adjust the light a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, one more shot. I think I think we missed it. But getting used to the gun and such. Okay, just give me some time. It will happen. Okay, let's see. Shooting the left can. There we go. Ah, headshot. Woohoo. Okay. Now the second one I want to shoot. Let me see. Ooh, hard to load pellets on this thing. You cannot tilt it downward. It's very hard to load. It's not like the uh, XFT 500 where there's a groove for you to put the pellet in. Okay, now this one will will shoot and pop the bottom of the first can. Which is very easy as you can see. <laughs> okay, that's, that's way too easy. Now this one, I want to place a shot on the right side, uh, the right can, and uh, we'll, we'll pop it up, okay? We'll try to make it jump. So, right side, shooting the lower part of the can. Pop. Oh crap, it's not popping. Woo! Okay, maybe we need to shoot a bit lower just to try to spin it up. Okay, give it a good back spin. Urgh, it's so hard to load pellets. Not easy. Okay, right side. It still went through the can, it's too overkill. I think the only way to um, spin it might be to uh, put place a shot on the top of the can, just like we did on the first one. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Okay, guys. It's still going kinda overkill, not sure why. Hmm, I want the can to drop. How come it's so hard? Maybe we need a gun that is, that is uh, less powerful. Whoops. Sometimes you don't want the most powerful uh, shot. You want something that's just right so that it can pop the can and make it jump. Right now, it's not jumping. Almost, almost, it moved, okay? It moved. You want it to fall down. And it's not easy. Sometimes it's kind of overkill. Okay. Now, where do you think we should place the place the next shot to make it fall down? Oh, not easy, man. Okay, let's try again. I think somewhere at the top will be will do it. Oh, got it! Oh yeah. Ooh, finally it's down. This guy is tough. 
Okay, now uh, the next shot, I think maybe we'll shoot somewhere on the front of that can. Maybe pop off the cap. Woohoo, cool. Nice shot. Okay, let's uh, do one. Now it's time to knock out the middle one. The middle big guy. Okay, big guy is very secured and it's very strong, so it's hard to knock him down because it's, it's already secured inside the trap. I think the only way to do it might be somewhere at the top. Pop the neck off. Shit. It's not going down. It's going through the top, but not down. Okay, maybe we'll try knocking its uh, lower body. So so hitting the uh, the bottom of the of the uh, bottle. That might work. Okay, let's try the bottom. Okay, finally knocked two out. One more to go. That was a nice shot. Yeah. Time to knock this one out. This big guy is secure top and bottom, so it's very hard to knock out. Let's see if we can do it. Nicely. Oh, not yet. Very hard. I have to think of where to place my shot so that it will actually knock down. This is not easy. If you look at it, it's like, hey, shooting pop can is very easy, right? Just making holes. Actually, it's not easy when you try to think about how to knock it down. Okay, I'm trying to go on the curve up uh, on the upper side. There we go. Woohoo, that works. Uh, okay, now let's go for another challenge. Okay guys, this is harder. I'm um, trying to shoot the soup can protected glass bottle, which will take some more effort. And for this, we'll use the Stink Skanko Type 1 uh, Orange Hyper Velocity Pellets, which is better for penetration uh, on glass bottle and cans. So let's see if we can take one shot and kill both together. Where the heck is it? Oh crap, what a nice placement. It's totally covered up. I think the thing is down, uh, but I need to go check. So let's take a look. Okay guys, let's try again. It's not going down yet. I think it was a bad shot placement because uh, the bag was totally covering it up. So another shot of Skanko Hyper. Okay guys, let's try. I shot the can, but I'm sure that it didn't break the uh, bottle yet because it's not falling down. So let's place one more shot just in case, okay? I'm sure that I didn't break through it. It, it. This is the harsh test. We tested it with the HFT as well and it didn't go through. Wow. Very interesting. Off. You see? The head popped off. There we go. 
Okay guys, this is our final target to cell phones and they are garbage. So might as well Skanko type 1 pellet hyper velocity and uh, let's press some buttons. Maybe we can punch out the keys or whatever. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, first target is on the left side. Wow, very hard hitting. I think it really broke a nice hole in there. Next one. Right side. I want to punch the uh, center key. That was a quite a good hit. Let's check out the targets. Oh, it went in right here. Didn't go through. But it broke the... It really did broke it. I'm going to try to hit the lens up. Wow, this one totally stuck there. Look at that. Okay, guys. Let's try it again. Hyper-velocity pellets. Okay, left side again. Oh crap! Both both of them are down. Anyway, let's try to hit again. Follow up shot. Okay, now we're aiming at the right side. Oh, I think I missed. Okay, anyway, let's uh, check it out. Okay guys, we're doing one more shot on each and that may be it for today. So here we go, we're trying a one, one shot of watt cutter on the left side. Let's see what happened with the watt cutter. Let's see if it's different from the Skenko. How come it cannot always stand up? Oh my! Popped it off. Wow. Okay guys, now it's the very hard uh, to do hit. Let's see if we can punch out the camera. Okay, right side, camera. Let's see if we can do it. Mm 
Not sure. Okay. Not sure where it hit, but it definitely knocked the camera. Okay guys, I think we need to shoot the screen. Uh, so the last shot today, the last three shots will be wad cutter versus the screen. <laughs> okay, so the last three shots, if nothing fails, we'll, we'll get it in one go. So let's see if that can work. Okay, one down. Second shot. And then the cap. There's one more uh, cover on the back. Done. Woo, that was nice. This one shattered. Okay guys, so basically that's it for today. Having some fun with the crazy high-end FTP 900 uh, doing prinkling target and sharing the joy with you guys. This is actually a very amazing rifle for field target and target shooting. Usually we use this for shooting uh, paper targets, metal targets, but today we are shooting something different which is prinkling, so that's really cool to see. Uh, I don't think anyone will show you that kind of silly shooting. So. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's pretty cool and you can actually see my review on YouTube uh, showing you the details of this gun. It's extremely, extremely outstanding rifle. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!